Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming bringing you my first player review of this year's Team of the Season cards. And as you can see up on screen, we have one of my favorite players in the game, Team of the Season, Finn Bogson. And as soon as I saw him, that was the first thing I went to, straight to Twitter, and I said, I've got to use this guy in a player review. Now, he's part of the gold most consistent players, and you can see over there straight away his card. It cost me only 14250 and you could probably sell him on for maybe two or three K profit as I did yesterday but I also went and bought another one for my personal use in the game now over there he's only got two star skill moves three star weak foot if you guys do want to quick sell him you'll go for 10,000 coins and in this review I'll pretty much cover everything so an all round this is going to be an all round review on the play it's going to be also my first player review so I'll give you guys a full thing of what I think reviews should be like now looking at him he's got 73 ball control and I definitely say it's probably higher into those early 80s because he was much more better at keeping the ball at his feet. Looking at his finishing which is 99, absolutely insane stuff on a striker. It's 99 finishing that's equivalent to the likes of Messi and Ronaldo in the game so really great stuff out there. Heading accuracy 81 he is a 6 foot player so he will be very nice for those aerial threats. He's got 91 penalties which is always good and then at the bottom there he's got 86 volleys and 83 shot power. His volleys are so deadly and mixed with the shot power it is just it's beautiful if you see it in the game you'll literally uh you'll start crying it's just that beautiful in the game now looking at his skill moves he's got two stars skill moves which i definitely say is a very big weakness he's got three star weak foot which i'd say is around about right because he doesn't have the perfect weak foot but he more or less always goes to his right foot and when he goes on his left foot i found it more clinical than any anything so Maybe a mixed bag of opinions on that. He does have a high attacking work rate with also a medium defensive work rate. So if you guys do struggle to use him as a striker, to possibly put him to a centre forward or a cam. He'd complement perfectly in those positions as well. Now, looking at his physical attributes, everything is above the 70s. He's also got 91 reactions, which is very nice because you want a striker to be very aware of the ball and anything coming in the air or along the ground, you want him to be able to smack it and hit it into the back of the net. So that's what I found very nice with him, along with his 80 acceleration. More or less when the ball was along the near his feet, he was much more faster than when the ball was not near him. So keep the ball at his feet you more or less find it's better than that now over there in the mental attributes EA just don't love this guy because they've given him 57 vision and that's really contradictory towards his passing stats because his passing stats are really nice they're around the 70s so EA I don't know what have you guys done over there but in terms of attacking positioning very nice and 85 it is now I'm gonna show you the team I actually put him with and I'm gonna quickly cover whilst showing you the team um, what I found the pros and cons with him were. The pros, which are the benefits and the strengths, are his aerial ability. His shooting is just so incredible. His finishing, clinical as ever. And he's just an aerial threat in the game. He's also fairly acrobatic, which many people wouldn't expect. The weaknesses, however, are that he is a bit slow when the ball's not with him. And also, he does have two-star weak foot. So maybe if those things... If you guys don't mind not having a player that does have a two-star weak foot... No, sorry, two-star skill moves then uh, he would be a perfect player to have just as a heading opportunity. And uh, I think that's one of those things you need this year in FIFA. It's just a player that can head the ball. Now look at this for a ball flick over the top into a volley. And how amazing was that? That was just insane when I scored that. And I also played a subscriber before this one who actually notified me about Inform Finn Books. And, and uh, thank you guys on Twitter as well for letting me know about him because I was working when uh, the team of the season was released. So you can see over there that uh, aerial threat finishing with his penalties um look at that 99 finishing and his shot power incorporated into one over there using the feint and definitely say if you guys are new to skill moves learn a few that are the feint and learn a bit of dribbling because those are the ones that you want to learn prior to going into all those five star skill moves and you can see over here i'm actually going to take a free kick and this is the biggest gamble but when you believe in a player they will perform and that's exactly what he did out there puts in a free kick and this guy does not have outstanding free kick stats in comparison to Jansen in our team so definitely say two bars anywhere within the round the penalty box and hold the analog stick up he will tuck it in now over here utilizing the strength as I said in my review a bit in the earlier the video I want to cover everything for you guys from um, you know strength from passing ability even there his weak foot three star weak foot tucks it in on his left foot and uh, I want to cover everything in these reviews I want to give you guys a complete solid review on the player and you can see there aerial ability very nice six foot player I think it's 81 heading accuracy so he will tuck them in and when they left that open 
he's never going to miss the ball. He's just one player that just never misses the target. So really nice fun. In terms of short passing, definitely say it was fairly good. And over here, you can see Wijnaldum going to set him up and respect the man that is the team of the season card. And over here, I'm going to cover a few more team of the season cards. So if you guys have any opinions on which ones you'd like me to try, I think I want to try out the one from Borussia Mönchengladbach, the four-star skiller, four-star weak foot Brazilian. But uh, I think I might have that out tomorrow. So anyway, there's going to be another trade and play Liverpool video out later tonight. And that will be around about 8 o'clock. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed. You can see I put Lucas Piazon in the team purely because I wanted a four-star skiller. And you can see he will connect with the ball purely because he is an aerial threat in the game. And look at this bit of play. Such ping pong play into Finn Bogson. Going to be one on the keeper. Smash it in. And that's how he does it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little player review. And it's quite an in-depth take in. But definitely say give him a go. Try him out and let me know what you think. If you guys have enjoyed, by all means drop it a like. Subscribe if you're new for more daily FIFA 14 content. And this has been AVJV Gaming. I'll catch you all for the next episode.